Hi, my name is Richard Merritt and I'm the president of Cardian Health. I've worked with large medical device companies for over 20 years, but I've never seen a team like the one here at Xander Cardian, combining cutting edge research into radar and deep partnership with clinicians to make sure that the solution actually simplifies workflow for clinicians and has the economic and clinical evidence behind it to be adopted widely. Let me tell you about the XK300. It is the first and only FDA cleared commercially available radar that can actually measure heart respiration rate and heart rate as compared to the gold standard of entitled CO2 and ECG. It's totally automatic. There are no wearables, no interaction required by staff or patients. In addition to vital signs, it continuously collects patient presence and motion data, which when you combine with AI and machine learning can create remarkable new insights for clinicians. Its range goes from 10 feet to 33 feet, giving great flexibility for placement in the room or bathroom, and it could go through blankets, clothing, furniture, and even drywall. But what about the evidence? Published studies show that respiration rate and heart rate are two of the most important predictors of patient deterioration, but because they're difficult to collect continuously, they're really underutilized by clinicians today. In this graph, you can see just one example from a long-term care facility for an otherwise healthy 89-year-old patient that we were able to see a trend more than three days before an acute event and a hospitalization that could have been prevented. In 2022, we're focusing on long-term care where staffing challenges are extreme and we have the opportunity to give back 17% of the time clinicians spend on routine tasks such as bed checks, focusing on time on the patients who need the most care. In summary, we have three key value propositions, including clinical outcomes, bringing existing remote patient monitoring reimbursement to long-term care where it's never been used before, and reducing stress, strain, and burnout. And with this, I thank the UCSF team for their consideration of our submission.